everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. Or in case if you're new here, welcome to Dr. Teeth. I am Dr. Hina and I make dental videos with an intention to help dental students. So if you found the video helpful, you can subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to like, comment and share because this motivates me to create more videos of this kind. So while I go and enjoy on the beach, you just study and I'll get back to you soon. Allah Fiz. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope that you all are doing fine. We will start with the mandibular rim by marking the cheat lines. If you haven't seen that video already, I would suggest that you pause this video and go and first see what lines or what landmarks we need to draw on the cast because those lines will help us achieve that proper shape. Okay. So once you have done that, we will come back to this video and have a look. So what I'm doing here is I am taking a wax sheet, modeling wax, and I'm heating it properly, you know, and rolling it as you can see here. So we will give a good amount of heat so that, you know, it starts dripping a bit and then we will fold it. Now make sure that you heat it properly so that there is no air entrapment in between. Now, once I'm satisfied with the thickness of the block, wax block, I'm going to make a U shape and adapt it onto the mandibular cast, as you can see here. So, we have to make sure that the rim follows the arch form. Okay. And now, what I'm doing is adapting the modeling wax like so so i'm just pushing it into the sulcus while maintaining the shape so basically you have to push it into the sulcus so that there is no open areas left also you can put it on the table this way and press it to get a flat surface now make sure that the arch form is properly followed okay we will recheck this with the help of the lines we had drawn we'll see this as we proceed now the next step is i'll take a bowl full of water okay and i'll take a wax knife or any instrument that suits you take that and fill in the gaps means just heat the wax knife and we will make sure that our modeling wax is everywhere there are no ups and downs in the rim means it's a flat smooth surface we have to achieve so we are moving towards that you can always add more modeling wax wherever you find deficiency just make sure that you have to heat both the surfaces you have to heat the sheet also and you have to heat your rim also right so that they fuse together properly and there is no air entrapment in between for the height we will take a so we will take a hot plate heat it and we will run through the occlusal surface so that we get an approximate height now once you're beginning with making rims we will measure the height from the depth of the labial sulcus so we will measure the height of a rim from the depth of the labial sulcus it should be 18 mm and posteriorly the height should be at the junction of the anterior two-third and posterior one-third of the retromolar pad so we will mark it mark the height throughout and again take the hot plate heat it and reduce the height okay Now I like to take a sharp instrument like a lacron cover or BP blade to smoothen out the surface, all the surfaces like the occlusal surface, the labial, the lingual surface. You can use a sharp instrument and scrape off the wax to get a smooth surface, right? Now to check whether our arch form is correct or not, we will take a metallic scale 
and we will transfer the line we had created on the mandibular cast means the line that was joining the posterior retromolar land area to the anterior canine region right so we will extend it on the rim now our rim has to be 50 percent towards the left of this line and 50 percent towards the right of this line now wherever you feel that there is a little more width on any one side you can always use your instrument and you know reduce it or correct it or if you feel there is little less width somewhere and you have to increase you can always add more wax and increase that so after we are done with this we'll scrape off all the wax to get a smooth surface what i like to do here is use a cotton cloth and rub the surface vigorously so we will get something like this it is not shining but still it is a smooth surface now to get the shine we have three option either we can use a chip blower give a little bit of flame to the rim from a distance and immediately use a cotton dipped in water and wipe it see wiping it is giving that extraordinary shine isn't it now another method is that we can use a hand wash take a cotton not a wet cotton take a dry cotton use a little bit of hand wash and rub it onto the surface of the rim and we will get a very good shine also there are some commercially available products that can give you a smooth surface and a beautiful shine but i am not using it in this video so this is our rim as you can see so some of the points that we have to keep in mind is that the rim should follow the arch form the height anteriorly should be 18 mm though we have to adjust it according to patients but ideally we say it is 18 mm posteriorly it has to be at the junction of the anterior two-third and posterior one-third yeah one thing i just forgot to tell you the width anteriorly should be 4 to 6 mm and posteriorly it has to be 8 to 10 mm and always make sure that you begin making the rim after marking the landmarks so that you can be guided always and there is no chances of mistakes so i hope that you found the video helpful if yes do let me know in the comment section below it really motivates me to create more videos of this kind once i get really positive comments from you guys so thank you so much for all the love and support and do subscribe to my channel share my work there is nothing better i can ask for so till you meet next time take very good care of yourself allah hafiz and yes also let me know what other videos you would like me to post on my channel see you soon bye